सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल आई होप यू गाइज आर डूइंग ग्रेट सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ यू कैन क्रिएट दैट काइंड ऑफ पेपर प्लेन एनिमेशन इन ब्लेंडर सो विदाउट एनी फॉर द डिले नाउ लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट इट टूटोरियल एंड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल विल जस्ट मॉडल दिस प्लेन दैन विल एनिमेट ऑल्सो सो मेक श्योर यू वॉच द टूटोरियल टिल एंड सो सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू माई ब्लेंडर एंड हेयर आई एम इन माई ब्लेंडर सो आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू डिलीट दिस डिफॉल्ट क्यूब प्रेसिंग द डिलीट then i'm just going to add one plane pressing the shift a then i'm just going to edit mode of this plane pressing the tab and here i'm just going to add one edge loop in between here then i'm just going to move this edge little down something like that and then i'm just going to select these edges and going to my top view and going to scale as well something like that here you can see so that much scale is fine to me right now okay then i'm just going to press the e then i'm just going to press my left click and here i'm just going to scale these what i see something like that so we have a that shape here and that's look fine by the way okay so we can check from the top view how much we need it yeah i think that much is fine to me and after that i'm just going to add one edge loop in between here little downside so after that i'm just going to move these two vertices little close to our side vertices and uh, make sure after that you can just merge it so there is one option to merge these vertices you have to just enable this option from here it's called auto merge then you have to just move it and leave it here so it will automatically uh, merge these vertices together and same thing will do with here i'm just going to move it and leave it here so it will automatically merge both vertices here okay and after that i'm just going to move these vertices little close so i'm just going to scale it basically something like that and then i'm just going to select these vertices and going to little close also and then i will just select these vertices and do same thing i think that's look fine to me right now and then i'm just going to my left view and i'm just going to move this vertices to upside something like that okay and we'll also move this vertices to upside also so here you can see we have a that kind of shape here okay then i'm just going to select these faces by the way and then i'm just going to extrude it pressing the alt e and here i'm just going to extrude along the normals something like that yeah i think that much extrusion is look fine to me and after that i'm just going to select are these vertices and going to merge it together pressing the right click and here you will see the merge at center so here we have a that kind of effect okay and that's look fine and we can move also these vertices little outside something like that so here you can see that's look fine to me and we have a, a perfect paper plane here and after done this modeling we'll just move our shading panel and here i'm just going to add one new material pressing the, this new icon okay and then i'm just going to delete this principal bsd up and here i'm just going to add one diffuse node basically diffuse bsdf and going to place it here and here i'm just going to give any color whatever you want i'm just want a little sky blue color yeah i think that's look fine to me okay and after that i'm just going to my layout section and here we have that plane by the way and now here you can see our modeling part is done now we'll just animate this okay so for animate this we'll just use a curve so for that i'm just going to my uh top view and from here i'm just going to my curve section and from here i'm just going to add this path basically here we have that path so i'm just going to scale this path little bit something like that then i'm just going to apply the scale first of all then i'm just going to my edit mode of this path then i'm just going to press the right click and here i'm just going to little subdivide so here we have a, a little uh, more vertices okay so now i'm just going to my left view i think we have to go to my front view okay so now i'm just going to my front view and here i'm just going to move these vertices to up and down so we'll get some sort of curve here here you can see and that plane will be animate along with this curve basically so here you can see so i'm just going to do something like that and that's look fine to me right now and we'll just also increase the our uh, resolution of this curve basically here you can see i'm just going to increase little resolution i'm just going to keep it 60 and that's look fine then i'm just going to select my plane and then okay then i'm just going to rotate it into our 90 degrees something like that yeah that's perfect and then i'm just going to move it here to here and we'll also little rotate it 
and I'm just going to little scale down as well yeah that's so fine then I'm just going to select my plane then I'm just going to select my curve then I will just press the control P and here you will see the option it's called follow path and when I just play the animation so here you can see that plane will follow this path basically and that's look fine but okay and uh, I think we should little decrease our plane size okay so I'm just going to decrease it yeah I think that much scale is look fine to me and here you can see if I'll show you here so yeah so here you can see that's look great and that plane is going to animate very nicely if you want to increase and decrease the speed of this animation so you can just select this path and from here on the object data property curve object data property you will see the option it's called path animation you have to just open this slider and here you will see the frame basically so if you decrease the frame that animation will be go faster if you increase this frame so that animation will be go slow so it's depend up to you how much speed you need it but I think 100 look fine to me if you want to increase you can increase it if I will just set this setting as a 150 frame so here you can see our animation will be little slower also here you can see and if I will just decrease this uh, value to 50 so our animation will go more faster here you can see and that's look great but that is a very great way to create uh, that kind of animation basically here you can see that's look fine we can create any kind of animation according to our path okay if you want any kind of direction you can just move this path according to your uh, suitability according to your requirement and that plane will uh, follow along with this path here you can see now it will go here 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 then it will go to here and it will flow like that so that's how you can create that kind of paper uh, plane animation that is very cool and easy trick so i thought i should share with you and uh, i also uh, show you how you can model because that is very easy way to model which is i shown you here so that's it for this tutorial guys and thanks for watching this video guys if you learn something in this video please hit the like button hit the share button and subscribe my channel also if you have any queries if you have any suggestion please let me know in the comment box i will definitely reply comment so bye bye take care and stay home guys